Oh, hey, you want to learn how to do free floor plans with your cell phone? Let's go inside. I'm going to show you QB Casa, the easiest way to accomplish this. Alrighty, so I have been using QB Casa for the past two years to help increase my average order counts by creating floor plans. And if you're not sure what a floor plan is, essentially it's a digital layout of a home. It's an easy way to show every single space, including closets, and also provide agents and clients with measurements. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do that with pretty much any cell phone. Whether you use Android or an iPhone, this will work the same. My cameraman Rudolph uses Android and his floor plans look identical to mine, so don't worry if you're not using the same device as mine. All right, let's first head over to the App Store, make sure we have the app downloaded first before we begin this. All right, so now that you've downloaded the QB Casa app, you're going to need to set up an account. I suggest doing this before you're on site at a home or with a client because it'll speed up your workflow and process a lot easier. The next thing you'll do is open up the application and click on the bottom button, which is the scan icon. Now, when you click on the scan icon, it's going to ask you what type of dwelling you will be scanning. You have single home, townhouse, apartment building, or other. Now, other can be anything like a garage space or maybe some sort of strange office unit. Uh, that's what I typically reserve other for. After that, you're going to click on continue and then it will ask you the address of the property. Make sure you fill out this address correctly. Now it shows that I'm at 213, but this is actually 211 West Hilda. It's important to have the correct address because if you plan on using QB Casa tour after the fact, you're gonna need to have the address there for the client. So now that that's set, you're gonna hit continue, continue, one more time, it's gonna give you a bunch of prompts on what not to do, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna tell you the proper way to scan so you don't have to worry about these warning props. And then we'll say, let's start. After that, you're just going to hit the record icon. Everything is done in the portrait mode. And essentially what you wanna do is scan the entire space. So Rudolph, we're gonna go over this way and we're going to scan all of the perimeter walls. So we're scanning. And it's important not to move too fast when you're doing these scans because it could affect the accuracy of the scan itself. So we'll keep walking. And now we're going to go over here. Don't worry about being seen in mirrors or anything like that because none of that will affect the result of the scan. I'm also going to open up any bathrooms, closet doors, you name it, and make sure it's scanned. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be super scientific. And you don't have to cover everything because like Voodoo Magic, this will just give you the perfect result. So we'll scan this way. And as you can see, I'm making movements that are sort of well-rounded. I'm not going side to side. If I go side to side, sometimes it will give you an error and ask you to reposition. So it's very important that you're making certain movements where you're sort of tilting or leaning or circling. This will help with the accuracy of the scan. Also, don't worry about any clutter in closets or anything like this, because again, this will get the exact measurements that need, you were needing. Now, typically these scans go really quick. I'm taking my time to explain it for you, but a lot of times I could scan a house in about five minutes time if it's under 5,000 square feet. And again, we're just gonna wanna make sure that we're you know accounting for everything in the home. Scanning, we have a closet over here. So we're gonna go ahead and scan the closet. And then of course we have a bathroom. We don't have to scan spaces like this because this is not built into the actual unit. So scanning inside of here won't really matter. However, it will show that this cutout does exist here. No closet there. So everything else is scanned on the main house. Now this home also has an ADU which is an accessory dwelling unit. So check this out. I'll show you how we scan that as well. You're gonna have to cover your nose. There's a, a, a dead opossum out here. Just the FYI. <laughs> so we're gonna go out here. And you can see I'm just continuing the scan. I didn't stop anything. And then what I'm gonna do is just simply scan the entire unit. So I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back with you. All right, so now that the scan is all complete, we have to go ahead and send this in for processing. Now, when you go to send your scan in for processing, 
It's gonna give you some additional options that you can choose, some add-on services as well, along with different products that Cubicasa offers. I'm gonna to try to do the best I can to summarize and explain all the products that they offer within the application. So we're gonna send in, and of course, we're first greeted with some of the details. You can customize your floor plans with your logo, customize the colors and the overall layout. I've actually already customized my logo and customized my floor plans to the way I like them. I like my bathrooms sort of like a bluish color, and I like the living spaces sort of like a tan color so I can identify living spaces from, from bedrooms or even offices. Now you do have some options here. We have the plus, plus 3D, and then the standard. Now the standard floor plan is $0. It doesn't cost me anything. Now I am part of Cubicasa's preferred photographer program, which if you're not, I highly recommend that you do that. We offer all of our clients a free floor plan every single time that they do a shoot with us. That's added incentive for them to choose me over another photographer not offering Cubicasa's services. Now, what that doesn't give me is fixed furniture. And I'll throw up some examples of fixed furnitures versus just your standard floor plans. Now, things like fireplaces, countertops, bedrooms, bathrooms, those are all identified in the fixed furniture, which is the plus, which is $11.25 per floor plan. And then the free floor plan is just really going to show the space and not any of the specific details. However, measurements and things like that will still be within the floor plan itself. Then you have plus 3D, which gives you textures. This is a really unique thing to do for a client if they're looking for something like maybe showcasing what the floors look like, or maybe uh, tiles or, or something like there's a really unique countertop or something that can display those textures within the plus 3D uh, product, which is really neat. I'm just gonna do the standard for this client, so I'm gonna hit on continue. Then it's going to give me more options. Now, if I ended up choosing one of the paid options, you also have a 3D video render, which is really cool. If you all don't do video and you don't have the means or tools to do so, you can actually generate fully 3D re rendered videos from QB Casa's app, which I'm gonna put up an example here on the screen because this is insane. I did an office complex for a client and they had no staging in here and the app actually staged it, what I would say pretty well, very much like a medical office. So helpful that they were able to use this on the property's website to show potential buyers what they were getting with this space. So this is another option and you can see that video render. If you do everything with a plus 3D, you're looking at like $63 additional, which is actually a pretty good deal for what you're getting. You also can get GLA reports and CAD files for somebody that is looking to do renovations on their home. That's where CAD files are great for architects or designers. I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And then from here, I can choose my floor plan style and you can see I have Apex Imaging Media there. That's my specific design. But if I had multiple clients, let's say I was dealing with Remax or Compass or whatever other client that I had and they wanted a specific design, I could toggle through their designs before I hit upload. Of course, if you have any additional information for the QB Casa team, you can go ahead and enter it at this time. Otherwise, you just hit continue and then choose your turnaround time. Now, a lot of times I forget and Rudolph forgets to upload these and typically it's 12 hours of turnaround time. But if you do want something faster, they do offer a expedited turnaround time for an additional $11.25. So if that's something you need, that option is there. But I think the 12 hour turnaround time is gonna work perfectly fine for this floor plan. So I'm gonna hit place order. And then it's just going to upload. Now you're gonna to wanna to have decent service, obviously. Uh, you know, at least LTE to go ahead and upload this. A lot of times I'll just go back to my office. We set a reminder to upload all of our floor plans at the end of the evening. And by the next morning, just like magic, they're ready to go. So I've tried other floor plan applications before Cubicasa and I always found them to be a little bit hit or miss as far as the accuracy of the final result. Not only that, the turnaround times and render periods just took way too long. Before these applications existed, the only way to do a floor plan was with the 360 camera and then you would have to send it out to an editor. But once again, the accuracy and the measurements were never really one for one. Thanks to modern cameras, LiDAR on the back of the iPhone, and some of the advanced processing techniques, these floor plans are much more accurate than they ever were before, and agents can truly use them for internal measurements. Like I said, I'm able to add an additional 50 to $75 
per invoice by using Cubicasa. And it's all about the upsell. And if somebody wants to do CAD files or do a 3D render, I can add even more. And you can mark those products up to your own leisure. I would highly recommend price shopping some of your competitors that are either A, using Cubicasa or B, using another type of service similar to figure out a good baseline. But I think it's fair to say anywhere from 50 to $75 for your advanced floor plans, which will have like the kitchen and all the uh, fixed furnishings in place is a safe guesstimate. And of course, if you want, you can always sign up for the preferred photographer program. This means that you'll offer each of your clients a floor plan with every single listing. And you'll also get your name appearing at the top of the QB cost of search. This also helps you generate leads and lets other agents know who they can contact for their listing needs. All right, if you found any use out of this video, be sure you drop it a like. Let me know if you've tried QB Casa or how you've done floor plans as a real estate media specialist. I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay original. Links for QB Casa will be in the description below. It's sort of a secret that I've been holding, but now you know.